Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and believe it or not, but on the other hand, why shouldn't you believe it after all? You are watching this video, INAF 2.6 is slowly, slowly coming to town. I cannot give you yet the exact date when the INAF 2.6 will be re released because we are still missing one of the major features that we really do want to or rather have to put into the next release and this is the support of the H743 boards uh, so mainly the Matek uh, H743 wing but not only this is the framework for the whole family of H7 CPUs so this still requires at least a few weeks of work so my wild guess somewhere between october and november definitely q4 of 2020 this is this video is also not a complete and detailed list of the changes that inaf 2.6 will bring because well it's definitely too early for that however however i will signal something that i already signaled at least a few times few times and this is the fact that inaf 2.6 will be huge and by huge i really do mean huge improvement and the change for the five seven and three inch multi-rotors i don't want to say everything changes but if i would have to compare the performance and the flight characteristics of the previous releases of INAF, even 2.5 which actually flies pretty pretty well with what i'm testing us and called us 2.6 is like well night and day first of all uh, first of all i know finally is dropping the d term set point weight this is the situation when the d term is computed from both set point error and the measurement and this was really like a tuning uh, tuning nightmare to really Pro correctly tune the d term uh, i is following beta flight over here and from INAF 2.6 the D term will be computed only and only from the gyro so it will work as it will try to prevent the acceleration changes of the of the UAV and thus make the flight smoother with softer starts and softer finishes and there will be an equivalent of the beta flight fit forward but it will not be called fit forward because the fit forward is extremely misleading name in that uh, situation it will be called the control derivative which will be basically um, D term computed from the set point which basically is exactly what beta flight is doing but the beta flight fit forward is not really a fit forward it's a derivative uh, of the set point so nevertheless this is change kind of major change number one the major change number two is that well we on one hand simplify the filtering on the other hand introduced completely brand new filter into INA. what i mean uh, by simplified for example the notches uh, the second notch on the gyro static notch is gone uh, there are simplifications the d-term filtering there are simplifications in the gyro filtering and as the result well you have the faster response of everything but what's more important um yes INAF is still capable and will be capable of running rpm filter with the separate telemetry line not bidirectional d shot bear in mind however starting from the INAF 2.6 we are kind of saying that yeah rpm filtering is kind of deprecated please do not use this the reference the reference tune for three up to seven but to be honest not only multi-rotors uh, is with rpm da -da 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 off <laughs> who could have thought about that instead instead to, we are introducing the unicorn filter it's a beautiful name and if you want to know more about what beauty uh, the unicorn filter is you have to read actually what is a Kalman I know that at, at this moment Mark aka UAV tech will say that no this is not the Kalman filter only the dynamic LPF I'm not going into that discussion again have I ever no I don't think so however with INAF 2.6 uh, INAF will come will sh be shipped with by default enabled Kalman filter borrowed and then slightly refactored from the IMU flight and the results are well bloody amazing really honestly um 
I disabled RPM filtering everything and I just fly with this with this thing. This thing does some kind of the magic and I don't care that it's some kind of the magic and this is actually a, a statical LPF but this thing really makes my quads fly amazingly. Period. Period. Which is uh, also interesting that if you at one day will want to compare the row actually not throw gyro traces uh, with the unicorn Kalman filter enabled um, sorry but because to be honest the Kalman filter is not really a filter it's more or less an estimator so we are not putting this in the gyro loop, loop gyro subroutine we are putting this in the PID subroutine because it estimates and guesses the future uh, values of the measurement uh, this is something like a cavetat the result oh boy i do love inaf 2.6 really 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 i do besides that what will definitely go into inaf 2.6 um there will be a possibility to have multiple homes set uh, rather safe zones when you do not want your uav to land where you took off because for example why not so you just can uh, create a series of coordinates called safe zones and if you will trigger rth the uav will just pick the closest one and land there which is kind of awesome there will be a huge improvement in the navigation engine which kind of puts us in line with multi v was uh, multi v was offering years ago because finally there will be for example a point of interest and land and uh, basically everything that previously multi v was offering so mm, we're finally are catching up to something uh, built uh, on the Arduino. Then uh, improvement for the multi rotor navigation should be much smoother improvement uh, I don't remember exact what, but do remember some improvement also for the fixed wings flyers. There will be a huge improvement for all the Crossfire users because you will be able to display link quality and RSSI in the OSD together with some other things. So you will finally know what your link quality is. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Well, actually pretty plenty. And to be honest, we have really enough of the code and the material ready for the uh, released and uh, we could release if only not the missing not fully functional H743 so I really 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 think that after finally trying kind of 2.6 on your multi rotor you will say wow this thing is amazing because this thing is bloody amazing right now okay um, is there anything else I wanted to put in this video? No, not really. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next one. Bye bye. Oh, uh, by the way, right now there will be some uh, footage from my 5 inch Pyrx 5 flying with the INAF 2.6. And this is amazing as long as it does not crash. So thank you for watching. Until the next one. Bye bye.